What's up guys and welcome to what is episode 18 of Harrogate Town to Glory, our first season in the Premier League. We definitely got promoted too early, but you know, we've got to give it our best shot. We've got to build for the future. Let's go see how we're getting on. We've played eight games so far. Let's go have a look, see how it's going. It's not great, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's not great, I'm not going to lie. Um, currently sitting 17th. I'm very surprised, actually, that we've managed to actually get any points. We did actually draw our last game 2-all against Watford. Like, we'll have a look at the fixtures, first of all. Like, we managed... First day of the season was the most gutting result ever. 0-0, uh, and we conceded a 92nd minute losing goal to Leicester. I thought it, it was going really nicely, and we're going to get our first point first game of the season. And then we lost 1-0. And then the game after that, we uh, got absolutely obliterated by Liverpool. Lost 6-0. Uh, yeah, the less said about that, the better. They've signed Jao Felix, who is a bit insane, obviously. He scored a hat-trick. And yeah, we don't, we don't want to talk about that. We then played Aston Villa, who were bottom of the league at the time. And we managed to actually sneak our first win off the season to get our first points on the board as well. It was a really good performance, actually. 1-0. We had a lot more chances, I think, and it should definitely have been more than 1-0 in the game. Like, I was very... It was very... Uh, it was very tight. Like, there was a lot of... A lot of chances. Like, yeah, IXG was over 2, and theirs was nearly 2 as well. Just no one took their chances in the game. I think they had a goal disallowed in that one as well. And then we beat... We managed to somehow beat Leicester in the League Cup. We got a little bit of revenge after the League game, uh, scoring a 92nd minute winner in that one and then we played Spurs that wasn't great either we scored some goals at least which has been literally our stumbling block this year I'm not gonna lie like score we, we're really struggling to score goals like we've scored in most of the games so far but like to the levels that we were scoring last season obviously the step up in quality is pretty pretty dramatic and we obviously lost our, our goal scorer of last season in Leonardo Campagna who's now at Hoesca sadly we managed to bottle, we were 2-0 up versus Wolves away from home. We bottled that one, uh, which was very, very gutting. Jan Valery got sent off uh, in the 84th, gave away a penalty, and they obviously they scored it to equalise. And then we had to cling on with 10 men for the rest of the, for the last five minutes, which was pretty gutting. I genuinely thought we were going to get a win there. And then we managed to somehow sneak a, uh, a draw versus Man United which was pretty gutting really like we scored early on and then a late own goal from uh, Ben Davies who is our new one of our new centre backs cost us all three points pretty gutting and then after that we we beat Barnsley 2-1 in the League Cup which was nice and then Chelsea lost 2-0 there we didn't really do anything in that game and then most recently we've just drawn 2 all versus Watford Danny loader has got two goals we signed him on loan from Leon. Uh, tried to get it. Tried we well we we signed we signed a lot of strikers to try and fill the void really of Campania from last season. Obviously, no one's really hit the ground massively running yet. We'll go have a look at the squad. Like the goal scorers, like we've got Ma Mavididi Montpellier. He's on loan from. He scored three goals in three starts, and then like no one's really hitting the ground running, which isn't great. I'm not gonna lie. Ben Davies has been our best player. I think we got him from Sheffield United, which was a really great signing. We had limited money, so we managed to get him in. And yeah, really, like, the entire team is, is new. So it's it's all about just, like, getting team cohesion up and just trying to survive, really. Like, I'm just trying to pick up... We're just trying to pick up points, like, here and there. Like, today we've got for you a... Pretty much a relegation clash versus uh, Burnley. And we also play Norwich as well. Both at... I can't say the CNG because that's, that's not a thing apparently this season. The stadium isn't good enough. We're playing in Huddersfield still while we await uh, our new stadium, which is pretty sad. So, yeah, we're playing at the John Smith Stadium. Shit all. And, uh, yeah, we've got Norwich on TV and we've got Burnley as well. So, we'll uh, we'll press on. We'll get to the games. It's probably going to be horrific. Like, I, I honestly can't see us surviving the season. But you never know. Like, if, if we can stay up, it'll be a miracle, I think. A, a very large miracle. I very much doubt we're going to stay up at the end of the season. If, but like the players, the players we've signed are, are largely for the future. Like we signed quite a few. I, I went a bit overboard on the signings. Like we signed a lot of wonder kids, and like sold quite a lot of the players that we didn't uh, no longer needed. Like Dan Kemp went, Gary Gardner, Carl Jenkinson from last season, Hamza Raffia went, uh, Jake Turner left. Uh, Matt Phillips, Dan Cashman went out on loan. Uh, 
Kwanzaa as well, sadly, what got bought by Crystal Palace for like three million, which which is kind of good money wise. We bought him for like fifteen, 50, like fifty k, I think it was. But obviously, he's a solid wonder kid, so we we're gonna miss out on his uh, potential in the future. I don't know if he'll have come good or or what, but yeah, I'm sure there's better out there. We've still got Richard Knighty doing the business, so you know, let's hope for the best. I'm waffling. I've no idea, honestly. I've no idea what I'm talking about. I'm waffling away. We're absolutely screwed, and uh, yeah. So, you know, we're going to get on to the Norwich game. If it's less than 5-0, it's probably a win. If we can score a goal, it's an even bigger win. You know, I've messed about with the set pieces a little bit, and we've we've also made a new tactic as well, but I don't really feel like I'm going to play it anytime soon. I just need to get the team to settle into the current... Uh, into their current, like, formation, and, like, well, obviously, the, get, the co get the cohesion up, because... The last, obviously, last season we did the same thing, and we played terrible the first few games. And then we had that massive run like after January when the team actually started playing well together. So yeah, we'll we'll see how we'll see how we get on in this one. I'm not looking forward to it. We also re-signed Craig McGillery as well, ex Harrogate Town player. We needed we needed a backup goalkeeper after we couldn't really play with Belshaw as our backup keeper for the season. So you know, we had to we had to try and sign someone. So here we go, game versus Norwich. Where, well, I say I'm happy with the team. I, I, I don't even know. They've they've still got Buendia playing for them. We are huge underdogs. But you never know. We've we underdogs has been our uh, it's been our middle name for quite a while now, and it's uh, it's served as well. Danny Loder starting up front. We'll see how he gets on this game. He scored two in the last game, so hopefully hopefully he can uh, press on and start finding his scoring form. I know last year on on FM twenty he was really good in a save that I uh, a save that I did, so hopefully he's still got a similar amount of potential and he can actually start smashing it. At least, well, I was gonna say we're playing the ball around nicely here, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see where we end up. I feel like we're gonna lose it in the middle, get counted and, and concede. But you know, we're in. We're in down the left. Oh, come on. Got to be doing better there. Oh, man. Got to be taking chances in this uh, in this division now. Here comes Mitrovic through the middle. Big save. Big save by... Sa Is it Sarkic I signed? Yeah, Sarkic is our keeper now. I... I, I Still need to learn my players' names. Sounds bad, that, doesn't it? Ben Davies' head's clear, though, so... Hopefully, no no counter-attack there. Vokins dispossesses Saar down the left as well. Clears it to uh, Danny Loder. That ball was definitely out of play. Game a few chances so far. I was going to say, we're playing the ball around nicely, but Danielson's uh, actually won the ball back. Saves in again down the left, and he's once again literally come out with the worst shot I've ever seen straight at the keeper. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Cantwell's literally orchestrating their attacks. Oh, Perez hit the bar. Bloody hell. Robinson heads over as well from the corner. We are riding our luck here. Oh my lord. I'm very surprised that we haven't conceded a goal yet, to be fair. We've made it 35 minutes. We definitely should have done better from the chances we had. But, you know, it's it's a solid first half. It's a solid first half. We, we haven't created a lot, but, you know, we've done all right. We've done all right. Norwich haven't obviously taken their chances, so we can we can just rely on that for now. Oh, here they come. Sars in down the right. That should be one nil. It is one nil. Uh, that's uh, I, yeah. No words. 
They deserve they de they deserve to be one nil up. It should be it could be two nil now as well. I was gonna say we've won the ball back, but we haven't. Yes, we have. Phillips plays it. No, it's not gone anywhere. Phillips with the long ball to Danny Loader. Can Danny Loader score? Oh, he's put it wide. No. That was the chance. Oh. Oh, my days. How's he missed that? We, I feel like we're defending a little bit better, though. Like, in the game, in the, to previous games, anyway. I've probably jinxed that now completely, but. Oh, I can't believe Loader missed that chance. We're getting boxed in. Very, very slowly boxed in. If we can play our way out of this, I'll be very surprised. Yeah, we've lost the ball. Here we go. Gwen Doozy's in. And it's 2 0. Absolute Gwen Doozy. After all that play, nice play, that like in the middle of the park, just to do that. Should be 3 0 here. No, it's gone over the bar. Oh, we hit the bar off the corner. Oh, I did. I did set up some corner corner set piece uh, routines, so I, it that worked. If the header was on target, it would have it would have worked. Obviously, it, it looked all right though. It it's promising. It's a promising sign. As once again Norwich run in and hit the bar. Yeah, game over. 2-0 Norwich. Pretty poor result in the grand scheme of things. We just couldn't take our chances. Like, we had 12 shots, 5 on target. It's just not good enough in the end. Not good enough at all. Like, no, I'm not happy with the performance at all. Like, we should we should be getting some... We should have scored a goal at least. I think we're now 6 games without a winner. We're slowly slipping down the table. Fans have criticised that. Oh, God. <laughs> Honestly, I, I don't know if I'll make it to the end of the season before getting sacked. I, I honestly think we might get sacked. Like, what's the current... Okay, we've currently got a B, which isn't bad. So that's that's a start. But once we start losing the fans, we're, we'll be we'll be screwed. Hold a team meeting. What could, what could possibly go wrong here with this team meeting? Fuck it, uh, look at those negative... At least Richard Nighty's positive. Oh my god. That's what we like to see. Right, everyone everyone seems to be very happy after that. We can't let the morale bloody drop, though. Players still still support me, which is good. Burnley, I think Burnley are currently bottom of the league. So, this is a big relegation six-pointer. This Burnley game is a must-win result, I feel. Like, it, it, is must, it is a must-win. If we want to stay in the division, we have to win this game versus Burnley. If we can get to, like... 30 something points we've got a chance like it's it's gonna be difficult but i feel like we can do it right let's get on to the game i just want a result i just want to score a goal we, we're struggling we're struggling we just need we just need any form of good result anything to springboard us anything at all but like our look at that our attacking efficiency is passive and wasteful defensive efficiency is busy and leaky not what we want point or better is needed can't be losing this game so here we go Huge game versus Burnley. War of the Roses in in a technically. If we lose this, we're fucked. Not gonna lie. We haven't even had a shot yet in the first ten minutes, so you know it's not gonna go well. We've got James Tavernier as well. Still got Nick Pope. Ball across. He's headed it out. Luckman scored. Fuck's sake. Oh, what was that? Here we go, long throw. This is what we like. Please, we just want a goal from a long throw. Oh, my Lord. Here comes the counter-attack. Oh, God. Are you having a laugh? Oh, it's crumbling. It's it's all crumbling around me. This is horrific. We haven't even had a shot. 
Oh, he's headed it wide. You've got to get that on target. Oh, man. Free header in the box. And we go in, we go in 2 0 down at half time. 2 0 down. Anamichi is now injured as well. Fan fucking tastic. Brought Mika on down the right, who is actually started well. He's driving down the right. Oh my god. Queen has, like, just missed an open goal. What, what was that? Or did Pope save it? Who, who knows? At least we had a shot on target, but come on. Vogens is in down the left. Can he get a bottle across? Back to Loder, who's just chilling and oh, not to not Queener. Oh, oh, we not scored. There's three of them just stood there, like a yard out, and they've missed. Oh my Christ! Burnley have hit the post. We bloody got away with that one. Oh, look at the XG as well. It's horrific. How have we not won? The, how have we not? How have we not scored again? What is that? Of all the highlights to show, it showed that. Brewster sent it into orbit. We've got away with that one. Oh, man. XG of 1.28. To their XG of 1.23. We actually played quite well. Apart from the fact that we can't fucking shoot. So there we go. That that is it for today's episode. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and cry in a corner. We're getting relegated. Let's face it, guys. I, I it's so that's just fucking annoying. And Amici's out for two months. Uh, I have no words. The fans criticising me again. Uh, right, that's it. Seven without a win. There we go. I think we're now in the relegation zone. Um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll get back to you very soon with another update as to where we are in the season. It's probably going to be bottom of the league, let's face it. It's not going well, is it? It's, it's, it's painful, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, cheers for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget, drop a like. If you are new, subscribe to the channel. As always, just stay safe. Have a great rest of your day and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, man.